tyres can be a part of a car that people try and save money on. Maybe they're buying part worn or buying really cheap brands just to save a few pounds, dollars or euros. But is that the best approach to take? And what if you have an electric vehicle? Should you throw any old tyre on that you find lying around? Stay tuned for the details as we take a quick fire look at electric vehicle tyres. My name is Martin Lee. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe and the bell icon so Ah, you know why. And join us on Instagram. We are now at best underscore electric vehicle. We'll see you on Insta. So let's go back to the basics for a quick moment. What's the difference between a combustion car and an EV when it comes to tires? The first and most obvious thing to look at is the weight of the vehicle. Although not always the case, it's fair to make a generalization. EVs are heavier than a combustion counterpart. The main reason, yep, the weight of the battery. That can put extra stress on your tires for various reasons. And we're gonna get into that on the show today. Another thing to mention is the strain from acceleration. As EV drivers know, and I love, you get instant torque, instant acceleration, and that can lead to a bit of friskiness occasionally, especially when taken off at traffic lights. Now, I've had a Hyundai Kona, and any other Kona owner will know that if you floor it, even at 30 miles an hour, you can still break traction. So what do we want to know about EV tyres? Well, firstly, let's talk safety. You want to be able to steer and avoid a collision or to brake quickly in the case of an emergency. And that's the same for every car. But what are some EV specifics? Let's talk about how efficiency can affect the construction of a tyre. Although we generally have a lot more range in our electric vehicles these days, and the vast majority of trips are done within the range of the vehicle, we like to know it's there. So we look at miles per kilowatt hour, or whatever range number you like to use, and tyres really feed into that. So what's happening with tyres that might prevent us from getting good efficiency? As the car moves along, the road, part of the tire closest, deforms under weight. It's called hysteresis. And it adds to the rolling resistance of the tires and it affects your efficiency and range. So, to overcome that, tire makers use materials and structures within the tire to give it the right amount of rigidity. But there has to be a balance. We all want efficiency, but not at the expense of grip in the event of needing to brake hard or swerve. Another aspect when choosing tires for our EVs is noise. An electric motor makes much less sound than a petrol or diesel, so the effects of wind noise and tire noise can be more noticeable in EVs. Tires for EVs have different tread patterns that cut down on acoustics. Some manufacturers even add a foam lining to the interior cavity of the tire to reduce noise levels. Now let's look at it from a financial standpoint. Obviously, safety is our number one concern, but we all wanna save some money where we can, right? If you opt for the wrong tires for your EV, or even drive them at the wrong pressures, it can cause unnecessary wear. Tires for EVs are manufactured to be more rigid to cope with the right amount of weight. If you fit a tire that's carrying too much weight, it can begin to bulge and create a pillow shape effect. This puts stress on the shoulder of the tire and can cause it to wear faster. Of course, this reduced efficiency will also affect how much energy you use. It could even cost more in electricity over time as you need to recharge a little bit more often. So you have to weigh up the benefits of saving a little bit of money on the upfront cost of your tire. And yeah, sure, you can get really cheap, even part worn tires for EVs, but how much extra will you spend on electricity to charge if they're not efficient? Will they wear out sooner? How many miles can you get out of this lifetime of that tire? Or will they prematurely age and you have to buy new ones sooner than you would? How good is the safety, the road holding, and the performance of the car? So there you have it, a quick fire guide to some of the things you wanna think about with tires for EVs. Now, we could go into a lot more detail, but time's up today. Maybe you, like us, would like to go into more detail in some aspects of this video. Let us know in the comments below. We can always make more. Do you have an EV? And if so, have you replaced the tires? How long did they last? And was it because you were being a bit um, cheeky with the throttle? When it comes to changing tires, do you buy cheaper options? Do you stick with the manufacturer's recommendations? The one that came with the car, maybe? 
hey, maybe even snap a picture of your ride, your tires. Tag us on Instagram. We are at best underscore electric vehicle. And we'd love to hear from you wherever you're watching around the world. Thank you so much for watching the video today. If you like it, give us a thumbs up down there. It tells us to make more like it. And we'll see you on the next one.